It's the one. Hi guys and welcome to episode one of businessbookworm.co.uk, the inaugural episode. Thank you for joining me today. My name's Liam Trump and today we are talking about The Go-Giver by Bob Berg and John David Mann. This book I first came across on social media, somebody recommended it to me on Facebook. I did a little bit of research and it had out of 19 reviews, it had 16 people saying five stars. So it was right up there. I thought I've got to check it out and let, let you know about my thoughts on it and put it as episode one. So let's get straight into it. The book is a bit of a parable about a guy called Joe. He, through necessity, he's a salesman, he goes to see, seek out a guru who teaches him the five laws of stratospheric success. It's a bit of a parable, so it's got an overall storyline, but it's also got storylines which link in between it as well. It reminded me a little bit of The Richest Man in Babylon, if you've ever read that, which is a personal finance book, but this one is definitely more about sales, but I think it also has some value as personal development as well in there, just kind of linked in there. Now, I'll quickly run through the five laws, but I don't want to go into any more detail than that, purely because I feel like it would take away from the value that you're going to gain from reading this book. But the five laws quickly are one, value, two, compensation, three, influence, four, authenticity, and five, receptivity. Like I say, I'm not going to go into any more detail than that because the real value you're going to gain from it is going through this process and kind of linking these stories up together and kind of reintroducing yourself to them. So... You'll notice that I haven't got the book in front of me, and that's for a very good reason. I bought it on Audible, which is an audio book, uh, Amazon site, and it was £6.84. I bought it last night, and I stuck my headphones in and listened to it before I went to bed last night, and it was absolutely cracking, right top drawer. You can see that these authors, who have got a little bit of experience both in sales and journalism, really linked the story well together. They've also got a couple of other books I'll just talk about quickly. Um, the follow-up one, which is Go Givers, Sell More, which I haven't read yet, but I assume it's kind of the follow-on from this book. And then also, it's not about you, which again, I haven't read, but if you have, and uh, please leave a comment below and let me know if I should check them out. So, what did I think of the book? Well, when I went to bed last night, I was thinking, this book is brilliant, it's right up there, it's going to be my top 10. Then I kind of reflected on it a little bit this morning, and I thought, actually, maybe it's missing just one tiny little thing, and that is kind of real life example. So when I read a business book, something like Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, I kind of want real life examples to kind of talk about and kind of give example, well, give evidence of these things. And if this book had it, then it would be right up there. But because it hasn't, I'd then probably reduce it to around about an 8.1, 8.2 out of 10 on my uh, score line. But it's definitely, definitely a great book out there. If, you, if you're a salesman, or a marketer, or just a general interest in business and entrepreneur that I would highly recommend. It's only two and a half hours long, an audio book, so well, probably about that thick in the actual book, and I'll put the links below for Amazon and Audible. Two and a half hours out of your life, and it was definitely one of those ones that's going to be uplifting, inspiring, and get you to go, and get you attacking the day, and I'd highly recommend it. So that's my quick rundown of The Go-Giver by Bob Berg and John David Mann. I hope you enjoyed this first episode, and until next time, I'll see you later.